Helping now in northwest Indiana, your home is not safe and you should move out. That's the message more than 1,000 residents are getting in East Chicago. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker reports on the upheaval. On a beautiful summer day at the West Calumet Housing Complex, where nearly 700 children live, few are playing in their yards. Even the play lot is not packed. Here's why. Huge warning signs not to play in the dirt from the Environmental Protection Agency. The grounds around all 346 units are contaminated with lead. It's very scary. I have a one-year-old. He loves to play outside. He likes dirt. He just discovered what mud was. And he looks out the window and bams on the window because he wants to go play outside, but he can't. The signs went up three weeks ago. At the same time, the agency put down rubber mulch, in their words, to provide a temporary protective barrier until EPA can dig up and remove the lead-contaminated soil. Even with, when they put the mulch down, I'm not letting my kids outside. Carmen Navarro knew when she moved here five years ago that the complex had been built over an old lead smelting plant, but well, I didn't think it was that bad at the time. It's bad enough for the mayor of East Chicago to send this letter suggesting people move to protect their health. A little late for Marvella Briscoe's grandson. Three months ago, he became ill. I always complain about stomach cramps, throwing up, headaches. In less than two days, his family doctor said that he was Briscoe's waiting on the results of recent tests. I'm upset and scared. The EPA plans to remove contaminated soil around some of the yards later this summer. The mayor of East Chicago has asked HUD to provide vouchers to residents so they can move out as soon as possible. Reporting live from the newsroom, Dorothy Tucker, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Rob. Okay, Dorothy, thank you.